We've got baseball. We'll see the Chicago White Sox as they play against the Tampa Bay Rays. The MLB here on 2K Sports. Teams who contend yearly for a division crown, one in the Central and one in the East. It's the Sox and the Rays from Florida. I'm Gary Thorne along with Steve Phillips and John Kruk as we get ready for MLB on 2K Sports. Everyone settling in here at Tropicana Field. And we'll see Matt Garza on the mound. And he gets going against these White Sox hitters. What do you think's in store? Well, Matt Garza out in the mound, some of those overpowering stuff in the major league. Line up for the White Sox. Let's take a look. It is it's Damon at the plate. Rays winning last night. So the story so far, they lost the first two, picked up game three. Now maybe a little renewed energy for this final game against the White Sox. Sinker swung on, missed 0 and 1. And you know, the offense had last game, it erupted for seven runs. Well, anytime you get pitches out over the plate that are hittable pitches, you got to do something with them, and that's what happened in this game. And the play by up. One down. I will take a quick look at the Rays and their alignment defensively. Infield, outfield factors in this one, Steve. Uh, ben Zobris is not a great defender. And it's Alexei Ramirez now, one away. Looking at the numbers last year, 269 against the Rays. Garza with a delivery. First pitch of fastball. That's in there for a strike. Well, Matt Garza's numbers don't belie that. He had a pretty good season in 2009. 8 and 12 record, but an ERA wow. under 4. And this guy, to me, has the best stuff on that Rays staff. For Matt Garza, John, one of the problems was no run support. He swung on, line to right field. They take care of that one. Let's take a chance now to take a look at where the White Sox sit today in the rankings in the American League. First in batting average, first in batting average with runners in scoring position, and they're also number one in hits, a lineup that puts the ball in play, finds holes, and gets themselves on base, a real bonus to scoring runs. Couldn't get around in time, 0-1. Oh, it looked like he was fooled. He wasn't ready for that sinker. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Panerko now will look to tighten up that zone. Trying to get him to bite, but he lays off outside. One and two. Now Gary, this is a breaking ball down and away, and it just runs off the plate for a ball this time. Now here's a grounder towards the hole. And they get him at first base. Good hustle by the pitcher to get over there. Now great work by the pitcher there. He normally not called about to play first base. He does a nice job. We're going to take a look now at the starting pitcher for the White Sox. So Steve, uh, Tampa Bay hitters, from their perspective, what's in line for them? Uh, Jared Washburn out on the mound, and this one to get a chance to watch the crafty left-hander do his work, commanding all of his pitches. He needs to work ahead on the count and throw the off-speed stuff for strikes to expand the strike zone. And retires Crawford. Sponsored by Pepsi, a look at Joe Madden's starting lineup. Scouting pick, John, who are we uh, looking at today? Well, one of the most exciting players in baseball, center fielder who can go get him with the best of them. He has a cannon of an arm, one of the best in all of baseball, and he can get on base and steal bases. So it makes him exciting. So keep your eyes out for him to do something special today. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Well, Jason Bartlett in 2009 had a couple little injuries, nagging injuries, that kept his numbers down. 66 RBIs, 14 home runs. You have to go back to 2008 when he was the most valuable player to get them to the World Series. Jason Bartlett uh, just made the entire difference on the ball club that advanced to the postseason a couple of years ago. He shored up their defense. Well, he absolutely did, and that's a key. When you are when you have a young pitching staff like the Tampa Bay Rays have, you have to have sure hands in the middle of the Ball infield. Three. Jason Bartlett brings that for this Tampa Bay team. Swung on, liner to right, and Clinton pulls it in. Two down. Number three. So with two outs in the inning, here's Evan Longoria. Ball. Fastball just misses. 1 and 0. Here's a swing and a liner to left center. 
That's in there. The Rays' first man on. Now a quick look for this game. The White Sox and how they are positioned in the field. Scouting these fielders. Steve. Well, they're confident with Alex Rios out there. Just a solid all-around defender with a strong throwing arm. He's a quality defensive player. And Carlos Pena to bat. The right center. And that's going to be a base hit for Pena. A lot of good baseball being played in the American League. Let's take a look at where the Tampa Bay Rays set the rankings right now. Second in stolen bases, eighth in batting average, and they're in the top ten in on-base percentage, which is a big part of their offensive production. Getting guys on base is critical to a team's success in scoring runs. No balls, one strike, Washburn. Catcher can't control it. Oh, and here he goes now for third. And they'll just have to sit on this one so everybody's safe. The 1 1. A shot up the middle. And that's out number three. They get two men in scoring position. Couple of hits. Can't get them home, though. We're scoreless. Tampa Bay. Meet of the lineup coming to the plate. Leading it off, Carlos Quinton. Leading the MLB in batting average. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. Garza with a delivery. Fly ball, deep left, but it'll end up in the seats foul. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out. That can sit. Hit up the middle. Oh, my. How did he get out of the way of that? Those are scary. That's going to bring Gordon Beckham up. Now breaking down Carlos Quentin's season so far. Let's see how he stacks up compared to everybody else. First in batting average. First in batting average with runners in scoring position. He's also a hit machine leading the league in hits right now. Swinging the bat well. Every time he puts it in play, he seems to find a hole. Here's the pitch. Takes a swing, but he's too late on that one. Strike one. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Strike two, Gordon Beckham now will have to keep an eye out on the strike zone. Well, they got a pitch a good drive last night in the ball game. Ball hit very well, soaring into deep center field. Goodbye, a two-run homer. And so they jump out to the 2-0 lead. Wow, what a great time for a two-run shot like that. Now a look at the chance of winning on our two-run homer, courtesy of our WPA Pepsi graph. Now Gary looked like he was setting on that pitch. He got it and drove it out of the park. What they're going to want to do in this ball game now is take advantage of that and build that momentum up. Well, they need to still be aggressive out there. Go right after. Well, that's what you want. Run support for your pitching and attack the opposition. That's what the White Sox are doing right here. The pitch strike swung on by Rio strike one. This is a really momentum feel home run. Uh, you get it at this point of the ball game. You add some juice strike to the whole two. offense. Well this could be a decisive moment in the game. I mean, these hits early on could ultimately impact the result at the end of the game. Towards the middle. Oh that'll move you on the mound. He just barely got out of the way. And they'll have to eat this as that will go as an infield single. That's going to bring up A.J. Pierzynski. Uh, now he's surrendered three straight hits. He's got to bounce back and get this guy. He needs an out. Now in his 13th year in the bigs. No one out and a runner on first. Swing and a line drive down the left field line. One away. And they'll hold him at first base. The Rays schedule. Here's a look. They wrap up the Chicago series today. And they'll take on the Blue Jays, led by the power of Vernon Wells. That's a team they beat pretty soundly the last time around. It'll be a three-game series. Then they'll have to contend with Michael Young in the rest of that lineup for Texas. So they'll be out and about over a good bit of that upcoming schedule. And Mark Tian up. And right now, top five in runs batted in in the league. And they can't make contact with Garza's delivery. Well, one of the offensive leaders in the game this year, and obviously a guy who's getting the job done for this offense, and somebody they've really come to rely upon. 
And Tian swings and misses strike three. I just don't think you can make it any easier than that. Three pitches, up, down, see you later. He's already back at the bench. It's going to be Nix now. Runner on first, two away. And Garza gets him swinging for the first strike. This is how you get the routine ground balls. You pound that sinker down and away, trying to get the hitter to roll over his hands and pound it into the ground. The pitch. And the sinker swung on and missed, side retired. They love to be able to put early pressure on, picking up some runs here in the second. The White Sox are leading two to nothing. It's going to be Kapler. Right fielder. Number 27, Gabe Kapler. The pitch. It's 0 and 1 as he swings and misses at that fastball. Well, if you're going to get a good fastball, you better pull the trigger a little sooner. You can't be late on that heater. Second pitch waves at the fastball, and suddenly it's strike two. This one's grounded to second. Beckham. And so Kapler retired. Designated hitter. Number 20. We're going to see Joyce here. Nobody on base. One away. Gets in front, stopped it, it's in the dirt. Here's Washburn, 1-0 pitch. Hard grounded a short. Over to Canerco. Two men have been put away. Center fielder, number four. And it's B.J. Upton now. Fastball runs inside, 1-0. Let's see if he shows a little more discipline at the plate tonight. Struck out twice in that game yesterday. Just expanded the strike zone. He's got to get more focused. Swung on, grounded towards the hole. And he's on at first. Good hustle by the pitcher getting off the mound. Well, that's a good heads-up play. Well, you know, you have to know the hitter and his speed. Don't hesitate. Get over and beat him to the bag. Well, it was a quick inning right there. Seven pitchers. The White Sox still ahead. It's Johnny Damon now. He's going to start the third here. Number 18, Johnny Damon. Spotted by Navarro. First pitch, a sinker in there. 0 and 1. You throw the sinker ball to get the ground ball out. He got the called strike right there. If they swing, he's going to get his share of ground ball. That is a strike. Matt Garza now gets ahead 0 and 2. Damon will foul that one away. Garza with a delivery. Strike three. Damon on a swing and a miss turned away. That's a pretty fast pitch right there. And hard to get that much break on it. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. One of the best batting averages in the league. And here's the first one. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch, 0 and 1. And it's 0 and 2. Alexei Ramirez going to have to protect now. Now he's coming off of a game last night, a little bit disappointing. A couple of strikeouts, and he just expanded the strike zone and chased pitches off the plate. Able to set him down there, chalk that one up as a strikeout for him. But just a great sequence of pitches right there, and it only took him three. Boy, that's about as fine a job on the mound as you can get. And Paul Canerco to back, well, leading the league in home run. 0 1 offering from Garza. A smash to first, and he'll step on first to retire the side. And they aren't able to get anything going. Leading off hitter, Deanna Navarro. Number 30, the honor, Navarro. And it's fouled off. On the ground to first. And Canerco getting to it. And that's out number one as he takes it to the bag. And so with one down, we'll see Carl Crawford. 
2009 was another great year for Carl Crawford in the Tampa Bay Rays. Here's a guy that bats in the top of the lineup. He's a stolen base threat every time he gets on base. 60 stolen bases in 2009. The 0 delivery, a fastball taken for a strike. Kyle Crawford uh, changes the whole complexion of a game when he gets on base. He is one of those players with speed that he's got slows everything down. Well, he absolutely does, and he's, he's the guy that makes everyone around wow. him in the lineup get better pitches to hit because of that speed. Not only stealing second, but he's not adverse to stealing third base once he gets, the, gets to second. Ball. Oh, tough one to lay off right there, that fastball, one and two. I got to be feeling good today. Picked up a couple hits in the game last night. Crawford battling here, another foul ball. But what you're looking for when you're behind an account is you hope the pitcher makes a mistake. In this case, though, he... There's a swing and a liner towards first. And Canerco makes the catch. Number eight. And we've got Bartlett batting. Bartlett. And the first pitch. The fastball is in there. It's 0-1. He's just popping that glove with that four-seam fastball, pounding the strike zone. Liner towards the hole, and that's going to do it. Canerco's there. And a quick inning for Jared Washburn. He has a shutout through three innings of work. We're through three innings now. The fourth Leading it off, for Carlos Quinton. He's the league leader in hits. Number 20, Carlos Quinton. First pitch to Quinton. And Garza gets him swinging for the first strike. Uh, Gary, he, he can really swing the bat. Just a quality approach at the plate. Day in and day out, that consistency is critical to their success. Big swing and a miss. Carlos Quentin goes down swing. Really nice sequence right there. He had good rhythm, three great pitches in a row, and sits him down. Hitter never got a chance to get his balance, get his at bat going there, John. Well, he just didn't look good right there in the batter's box. He needs to take a better defensive approach to extend the at bat a little longer. First pitch was a strike, 0 and 1 now. You talk about Gordon Beckham and the fact that in his rookie season he hit 270 in 2009. That tells you that this kid has a lot of discipline at the plate. And that one swung on a miss by Gordon Beckham. His pitches complement one another. They work off of each other. And he used a tremendous sequence right there. One, two, three, strike out. See you later. And Alex Rios up in the top ten and hits. Lays off that one, catches the inside, calls strike one. Consistency, professionalism. He never seems to give up in at back, Gary. He's so locked in this year. That's a strike, and it's 0-2. Time for Rios now to protect. Now coming off of a game last night in which he hit a home run, and good piece of hit. Swing and a miss. Gets away. He's heading for first. Struck him out, and he's still going to make it down to first base. They're able to capitalize on this mistake. The catcher's got to keep it in front, knock it down. Couldn't get the out. We'll see how it impacts the outcome of this game. And now an extra out in this inning. Here's the slider coming right at you in K-Camp. Get a better look at that. Well, this one was running down and away, but even if he didn't swing at it, it might have still caught the corner. Yeah, John, that pitch was pretty perfectly placed. Nothing you can do about it. It's going to be Przinski. He's in the top. There's a swing and a liner towards the gap in left field. And it's through into the gap. Should be extra bases. And is Rios heading home. And he gets there all the way from first. And the White Sox, they just keep rolling. Third baseman, number 25. You want your hitters to go with the pitch. Don't try to force things. The ball's away. He drives it away. Use the whole part of that plate and the whole part of that bat. He did. Kids, you want to learn how to hit? That's how you do it. And Garza gets him swinging for the first strike. He delivers. And that's a strike. Mark Tien's going to have to take very close approach on the next one. Well, he had a contribution last night offensively as he drove in a couple of runs. Yo, a little low. Got it in the dirt, but he held on. Here's the pitch. Swung on, hit sharply to first. And he'll step on first to retire the side. So Matt Garza heads to the dugout. What he needs is some run support, trailing after allowing just the one run through four. And we'll see the rain. And it's Evan Longoria to lead us off. 
He singled his last trip. Number three, Evan Longoria. Washburn set and delivered. Oh, wow. Curveball just misses. One and zero. Again, we're into the fourth inning right now, and as you start to flip the lineup over again, back up the middle, Washburn. And that'll set down Longoria. Pena at the plate. We talk about a guy that resurrected his career. Carlos Pena has done just that. When he first came up to the big leagues, he was a can't miss. He's going to be rookie of the year. He's going to be an MVP. Well, he's starting to prove that since he's been in Tampa. 39 home runs and 100 RBIs in 2009 with the Rays. Good patience as Carlos Pena lets it go by. That'll even it up. Certainly for Carlos Pena with the Rays, what's been mo hit sharply towards the hole. Over to Canerco. That's two gone. Second Number And we're going to see Zobrist here. And Zobrist. And the first pitch. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Three big hits in that game last night. And they'd love to get that contribution again today. Now that one's way back to the backstop. Not a pretty pitch. No damage. Fastball just misses. He runs it to three and zero. Oh. Fastball. He's taking all the way. Three and one. But clearly the hitter had to take sign on right there. He was taking all the way. Set up inside that time, and it's a called strike. Three and two. The key for any pitcher is establishing the four seam fastball. Once you get that working, it gives you so many different options. And it remains a full count. Here's the 3 2 pitch. That's swung on and a liner here. And that ends the half inning as Ramirez makes the play. Not a lot of. It's going to be Nix now. Designated hitter, number five, Jason Nix. Garza with a delivery. Strike it's strike one. Can't make contact on the fastball. And here's the delivery. Good hard sinker that time. In control on the count now. 0 and 2. He got him so far. Eight strikeouts today. When you're getting guys out with three pitches, you know you're dominating. That's a time when you know you are definitely in the zone, and he was on that at bat. And it's Johnny Damon at the plate. So Johnny Damon was a key cog for the New York Yankees in 2009. That ball is belted deep left center. That ball is way back there. And one more to that lead. Fly ball out of here. Four up. You know, Gary, they're not bunching him together, but that is the second home run they hit off him in this game. He may be taking a look at his sequence of pitchers right now. Well, they're going to have to get it together with the pitcher and catcher. White Sox lead expanding here, Gary. They just keep getting big hits. Shortstop, number 10, Alexi Ramirez. First pitch on the way. Called strike from Garza. Count now goes to 0 and 1. Well, Steve, we know this lineup's capable of doing this sort of thing, but boy, if you're on the other side, you got to really feel like they hit you right in the solo flexes. And, and, and from the pitching perspective, they have to try to shut them down. You cannot let them continue to expand this lead. It's going to be very difficult to come back. Ball. Sinker misses, and it's one and two now. And when he can keep that thing down and away, it's nearly impossible to hit. The one-two pitch. Oh, and two. Alexei Ramirez watches that one go by. Count is now even. Lined up the middle, and it falls in. Hitting streak continues. And that'll bring up Paul Canerco. Oh, Alexei Ramirez has seized it so far. Let's take a look at where he ranks compared to everybody else. Fourth in doubles, fourth in batting average. And he is also ranked in the top five in hits in the league. That's a guy that makes a lot of contact 
and finds holes. So he's making hard swing and a ball hit high and deep to left field. That ball is way back there. Over the wall, a two run home run. They add a couple more to the lead now, a home run and a six run lead. Well, the pitcher's going to have to make some adjustments right now, Gary. That's the third home run he's given up in this game. The hitters have figured out some kind of sequence they're queuing on. Now, well, good hitting coaches help the hitter do that. Hi. It's going to be Grant Belfour on the mound. The he's been chosen to take right over out there. Number 20. Well, they had to go to the bullpen much 20. earlier than they anticipated, but the starter wasn't getting it done, and you can't let this game get away from you. Now, Gary, this offense has just been in control right here. Extending the lead, going to make it much more difficult to catch him later. On the way. Strike two. Strike two. Now with no balls, two strikes. Quinton needs to protect that strike zone. Let's see if he can make some adjustments in the game today. He struck out twice last night and got fooled at the plate. So he's got to wait a little bit longer. Down on strikes there. Nice piece of pitching. And Beckham's in the box. A very nice 308 career batting average for him against the Rays. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. This one's grounded hard up the middle. Zobrist. And he throws on to first. That'll retire the side. But they strike for three runs here thanks to two home runs in the inning. White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. It's going to be Kapler. Right fielder. Number 27. Gabe Kapler. First pitch on the way. First pitch, fastball, 0 and 1. Gary, they've only left a couple runners on base offensively so far through the middle part of this ball game. And, you know, they're going to have to give themselves more opportunities to see if they can't come up with that big base hit. That's just not enough offense. Here's a swing and a fly ball to right center. And it falls in there for a base hit. And he's in there at first. And as May winds down, let's see how the standings are in the Central Division, courtesy of State Farm. It's the White Sox in first. In second place, it's the Royals. Twins in the third spot. Fourth place, the Indians. And rounding out the list, the Tigers. Not a lot of expectations in Chicago this year, but the White Sox surprising everybody, sitting atop of the American League Central right now. And, and hit up the middle. And that'll hold the runner at first. What a tremendous catch right there. I mean, what a great effort getting to that ball, making that catch. B.J. Upton. There's one on. Here's B.J. Upton. Ground out victim last time through. Here's the pitch to Upton. And he checks his swing there, but it's in there for a strike on one. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Ah, oh, that one in the dirt. Good play by the catcher. Kept it in front of him. Washburn set and delivered. That one misses. It gets away from the catcher. And he takes off for second. So they can't make the play. Well, listen, it's all about advancing base runners in the game. you got to make plays defensively, but that error cost him, and he came out of his hand wrong, and the ball sailed on him. That one swung on a miss by Upton. Strike evens it up. It's hit foul by Upton. And he strikes out B.J. Upton, swinging a miss. With two strikes, the hitter won at the fastball. He got it, but didn't do anything with it. So Deanna Navarro thinking RBI. Batting 300, that's 3 for 10 lifetime against Washburn. Here's the first pitch. Hit hard to second. Throws to first side is retired. Getting it done once again, Jared Washburn. He's been quite the contrast on the mound today. A shutout for him through five. And it'll be the White Sox. Sixth inning. Here's a familiar face, Ozzie Gian looking up. Fielder, Last inning, that pitching gave up nothing. That's what he wants Leo. to see. Now looking for the offense to try and expand the lead. Here's the pitch. Hit hard on the ground to short. So Rios is set down. 
It's going to be Przinsky. Well, A.J. Przinsky put together a pretty solid season for the White Sox in 2009, hitting 300. He doesn't strike out a lot. He's a contact guy. Swings, lines this one back up the middle. And in there, he's two for three today. That brings up Mark Tian. A.J. Przinsky, you look at the size, and you think you're going to get a lot of big power numbers from him. But that has not been the case. He's really more of an on-base percentage guy. He's an on-base guy. He works counts. He makes pitchers work. And he and he has the ability to inside out the ball the other way. Yeah, a guy that big, you think, you know, he's going to hit four or five hundred foot home runs. But he's not. He's a, he's a swing and a drive. Deep left center. Crawford's there. That's the second out of the inning. Now batting for the Chicago White Sox. It's going to be Knicks now. Let's see if he bounces Jason back King. after last night's game, striking out twice. See if he has a little bit more plate discipline. First pitch, here it comes. Swung on, hit. Wow, that was close. Right back up the middle, almost got him. Now well, the RBI leaders the last ten games, courtesy of State Farm. Well, these are the guys that make the most money because they're the ones who impact the game in a big way, driving in the critical runs that lead to a team success. Pitch on the way. And that's by him on one. Uh, two outs in the inning here, but runners on first and second. You've got to knock the ball down in the infield. Don't let it get to the outfield where they can pick up another run and see if he can get a force out at one of the bases. He swings now and really hit that. Off the wall. And here's Pizinski heading home. And Pierzynski comes in. Another run comes in right behind him. Now and he'll stop at second base. That'll be a two-run double. Ten, Alexi Ramirez. As much as you want to blame the pitching, we're now talking about more than one pitcher giving up all of these hits. You Right now, you have to credit the offense. These guys are really swinging the bat. And uh, in the batter's box, it's Ramirez. Boy, this lineup is just pushing the pitching right now tough to get anybody out well that might just about do it Gary I mean that last hit I mean right now this lineup's on fire it's a huge lead we're in the middle inning it's going to be awfully tough for them to catch up and he'll step on first to retire the side they pick up two three hits strand a man White Sox continue to run away with this ball game. and it's Kyle Crawford at the plate Oh for two thus far. Number 13. Carl Here's Parker. Crawford's first look. Ball Fastball one. is right. downstairs. One ball, no strikes. They need more offense right now, Gary. I mean, you know, only leaving two runners on base. You know, we're moving through the middle part of this game, heading into the later part of the game. I mean, they need to give themselves some opportunities to score runs. Patience at the plate. Get somebody on. He watches that fastball. That goes by him for a strike, two and one. Just a 214 career batting average against Jared Washburn. Two on delivery of fastball, taken for a call, strike two. You can really stay out of big trouble in the big inning if you can spot your fastball down in the zone. Crawford will foul that one away. Washburn set and delivers. Flied to right. And that's going to be a base hit for Crawford. And that'll bring Jason Bartlett to the plate. Now State Fire brings you the league leaders in stolen bases. Now check out Crawford. He's holding down the fourth spot. Well, he has great speed, but it's also that first step quickness that's allowed him to have great success stealing bases so far this year. Plus that reading the situation, knowing the right count and the right pitch to run on. Pazos and now the 1-0. In for a strike, 1-1. Now that he's established the strike zone down and in, he can elevate a pitch or go with something soft away from the hitter. Good looking fastball. Call the ball though, 2-1. and one. What a good count right here for the hit and run. A 2-1. and one. He sends this one in the air towards center. And it's in there, base hit. Good now, offensive Danny. chance here. Here's a look at the standings in the Eastern Division races. Mays winding down. Brought to you by State Farm. Red Sox in first place. In the second spot, it's the Orioles. 
third goes to the Rays. Yankees in fourth, and it's the Blue Jays last. Well, the Rays certainly not blowing anybody away this year, but not embarrassing themselves either. Pretty much as expected in the middle of the pack in the AL East. And here's the pitch to Longoria. And he gets this one by him on one. He went uh, three for five last year off Jared Washburn. Lying softly to center field. And there's another one. Couple of quick hits. Here comes Crawford for the plate. And Crawford scores. Boy, the continuation here of this offense is called big time momentum. What more do you need to see? Now you have to question his confidence. Giving up three straight hits. Not much going right out there at this point. And we'll get to see Matt Thornton pitching. As the White Sox bring him in as a reliever. Well, this wasn't the type of start the pitcher wanted or the manager wanted or his team wanted. Now they've got to see if the bullpen can do a little bit better. Here's the delivery. Strike two, Pena. He'll look for anything close. A smash towards the hole. And he gets through as Pena drives in that run. Tampa Bay, just ride these bats as long as you can. Number 18, Ben Dobrik. That's a really good pitch, Steve, on an 0-2 offering to keep that down and in. That's a perfect pitcher's pitch. At this point, you've got to tip your hat. Hot shot towards the hole. Longoria scores. Now well, he will play back in this situation. A well-hit ball just getting by him for a base hit. No one out yet. Runners at first and second. First pitch on the way. Fastball is high. 1-0. Oh. A good progress for this offense. Anytime you can put up a crooked number and a comeback, that really helps. They picked up three. That'll miss low and inside. Ball two. But Gary Slider such an effective pitch, and it, it, it's this guy's put-away pitch. When he needs the big out, that's where he's going to go. He looks at that fastball. Called strike. 2-1. You know, we talk about his slider. What makes it so effective is that break, that depth and width to the pitch. It goes through two planes, so it's tough to center. Slider, that's taken. Strike three, one away. Now this one's up and in on the slider. He just couldn't pull the trigger on it. See ya. And we're going to see Joyce here. He is 0 for 1 off Thornton. First pitch to him. First pitch fastball. Misses badly that time, 1-0. Well, that's just some good old country hardball right there. Ground ball towards second. He's up with it. That's one out. On to first. Safe. Can't get the back end of that one. They get the lead runner at second base, but I think they would have liked to have gotten two right there. The pitch. Just missed with the fastball. One and oh. Check swing, but it's in there. One and one. The one and one. Here's a strike, bottom half of the zone, one and two now. It's hit foul by Upton. And Przinski calls for the pitch. Got him. And they're able to avert any more damage. Side retired. A strike for five base hits in this inning and three runs up. Nice job by the Rays. They've got to work their way back and they've started. Yeah, we have a chance to see Joe Madden. The thoughts of a manager, one can only speculate, but at this point, you've got to believe he's he's got some words for that next practice. And he starts Canerco out. Fastball swung out of miss, 0 and 1. No hits, two ABs last year against Belfort. Strike two, no balls and two strikes. Canerco now will look to tighten up that zone. That fastball up and in is one of the toughest pitches to hit because most hitters have a hole right there. You just can't get the bat head to the ball. Carlos Quinton batting now. There's one down. Got looking last time. First pitch to Quinton. Swings at that fastball and misses. 0 and 1. Well, you can tell his timing way off after seeing him swing at that four seamer. Swing sends this one on the line to right center. 
Can't cut it off. It's going to roll to the wall. And he pulls into second base. That will be a double. Second baseman, number 15. Well, this could be the start right here that this offense needed in this inning. A nice double right there with only one away. This could ignite this offense, and possibly big things could happen. Slider swung on and missed. 0 oh and 1. Pitch on the way. Strike and Balfour two. delivers the strike, and now a count 0 and 2. Swing and a miss on the fastball, second out in the eighth. And he only got to see three pitches. Now, unhittable pitches, but he saw them nonetheless. Boy, that's a tough at bat for the hitter who's got to walk away almost before he even got there. And he starts Rios out. There's a swing and a smash. Upton to feel this one. That's caught. Side is retired. They pick up no runs on one hit and leave a man at second. The White Sox eight, Tampa Bay three. End of the order, ready to do some work at the plate. For those of you just joining in, I'm Gary Thorne along with John Cruck and Steve Phillips. We bring you Major League Baseball here on 2K Sports. Here's the first pitch. Oh, and he checks his swing. They'll call that one a strike. The appeal goes to first. He did. And so with that, he'll step in and try his luck again. Here's the pitch. Good hard slider that time. He's in control in the count now. 0-2. Now, Gary, with this big lead here in the seventh inning, it's incumbent upon the pitcher to throw strikes. Get out right now. Well, he finished that one off with a strikeout. Nice pitch. The ability to move your pitches around within the zone, to change the hitter's eye level and keep them off balance are critical to success. Very successful there. Three pitches and a strikeout. Here's Crawford's first look. Oh. 1 0 on the way. Hit in the air to left center. This one's going to be fielded by Ramirez. That retires Crawford. Two down here in the inning. And we've got Bartlett batting. Two out, space is empty. And here's the first one. First pitch way out of the zone. Ball one. Well, it's getting late right now. Two outs here in the seventh inning. And, you know, they're down by a bunch of runs. They need to start to get something going right here, Gary. 1-1 one, one on the way. Swinging and a miss. And it's now 1-2. and two. And that swung on and hit. Rios. And he gets that one down. His second hit. Two for four today. So that brings Evan Longoria to the plate. And maybe he wanted to waste that pitch. It just didn't get far enough away or up high. Well, it just it was still caught a little too much of the plate, and the batter took advantage of it. Good focus at the plate. And here's the pitch to Longoria. Off the plate with a fastball, and it's 1-0. The 1-0 pitch. Fastball just misses, and he falls behind 2-0. Swung on, that is hit. No runs to the base hit. They leave one man on at first. The White Sox. It's going to be Pruszynski. Catcher, number 12, A.J. Pruszynski. Here's the pitch. Swings a little late that time. Strike one. Well, that fastball right there, he just blew it by him. And that's a strike. A.J. Pruszynski now behind on the count. Defensive stance at the plate. Good pitchers change the hitter eye level. You go down low, then you run the fastball up high. A lot of times they just look at it go by. Got him there. That was a nice strikeout. Boy, a nice looking set of pitches that time. He didn't daddle around with the strike zone. Well, nothing wasted. Just three pitches over the plate. Sits him down. First one to T in. Here's the pitch. That fastball gets by him on the first pitch. 0-1. Swing and a line to left. The catch. And he has it for the second out. 
designated hitter. Five, it's going to be Nicks now. Jason Trying Nicks. again here. Just one for three thus far. Takes a swing at that fastball. Can't connect on one. Oh, he just swung late on that one. That's what you call getting gassed up. Swing, hit. This one's to Upton. And he's there to retire the side. And nothing across here in this half of the inning. Here come the. And it's Carlos Pena now. First base, number 23, Carlos Pena. Pretty Garcia is going to be pitching. The White Sox turning to a reliever here. Steve, what's he looking at as he sees this Tampa Bay lineup? Well, the veteran Freddie Garcia has had to reach. Headed for the middle. Oh, my. That almost got him. I don't know how he got out of the way. Back up. That will bring out Ben Zobrist. We talk about a guy who's swinging it right now as good as anybody. That's his third hit of the ball game thus far. Let's see if this can mount a rally with nobody out. Garcia gets set and delivers. Circle change, cut on and missed 0 and 1. Uh, it's getting late right now. They're down a bunch, so th they need a big inning here. They can't wait till the ninth to try to come. Well hit towards the middle. The second for one. Back to first. Not in time. One and two won't get it. Well, they get the lead runner at second, but they just couldn't turn two. No, they wanted to. The first pitch. Ball. Hard grounded a short. It's gobbled up. Too late and he is safe at second. Boy, this is a good opening for this Tampa Bay offense. Well, he swung the bat well in the last game, getting two hits, and he seems to be continuing it in this one. Called strike. Garcia got that one in. It's 0-1. Look, Gary, with one out right here, they still have time in this inning to try to generate some runs. They need to score here in this eighth inning and not leave it all to the ninth. Oh, a foul ball. And another foul ball. Well, anytime you're down 0-2, the bottom line is you want to be able to cover the whole hit up the middle. That keeps those runners at first and Tampa second. Well, sometimes it's about the fundamentals. Sometimes, though, it's about a flare from the dramatic. Well, good, solid, fundamental, flary baseball, huh? Here's the pitch to Upton. It's hit foul by Upton. Swing, hot shot. So, no runs, two hits, and they strand two. The White Sox still on top. Taking account of the ball game, there's Ozzie Guillen. Great game his club has put together. Things have gone really well. On the way. Swings on that first pitch, misses the fastball, 0 and 1. In this matchup, 1 for 3 last year off Belfort. Fastball runs inside. That'll dust him off a little. Well, that one runs in on the plate, close to hitting the batter, but now it keeps him from diving out over the plate. Fastball gets away from him there, 2 and 1. Well, you can see what he's doing. He's just pulling that ball away from him, trying to overthrow it. Smash towards the middle, and that gets down. Damon, base hit. So that brings Alexei Ramirez up. Ground out victim last time through. Alexei Runner on first, no out. The pitch. This one's grounded hard up the middle. One. And there's the second out of double play. Well, here's a double play that looks like they ordered up. Great turn and throw at second base. He was ready to make the play. An example of a nicely executed double play. And he starts Canerco out. 
Oftentimes with pitch like this, the in on the plate, back in the hitter up, is a setup pitch for the next one to go away. Let's see if he throws it there. That's going to bring Carlos Quinton up. Had a double his last time up. First pitch to Quinton. Here's a curveball, swung on and missed. 0 and 1. Last year, a really good 313 average against the Rays here in Tampa. Here's a swing and a line drive. Nobody's able to get under that one. It falls a base hit. Boy, what a time now to capitalize if they can. Second base. Well, a big two out hit right there. That's his third hit of the game so far. This man's doing what he has to do to help his team win. And Beckham's in the box. He's had one hit four times up. Well, complete game here for him. I mean, you talk about the RBIs, the homers. I mean, this guy's doing everything today. Coming and that's back. going to play Chicago Alex Rios. Number well, this is getting ugly right now. I mean, he's given up hit after hit after hit. This offense has clearly figured him out. How much longer can you leave him in and take a beating? And doing the pitching, J.P. Howell. They've decided it was time to make a change here. And Crawford puts that away to retire the side. They pick up three hits in the inning. They leave the sacks full. And we'll see the Rays coming up next. End of the order is going to try and kick it off offensively. In the dugout, the Joe Madden. You can kind of feel what he's thinking right now. It's a very tough game. Uh, maybe, maybe thinking about some adjustments as we move forward. First pitch on the way. That curve is just a little bit outside. One ball, no strikes. Well, a non-safe situation right here in the ninth inning, and they just want to get outs right now. Try to get the first out of the inning. Hit hard on the ground to short. Fielded by Ramirez. So Navarro is retired. I said, uh, you know, winning big right now. You just want to go out there, make plays, throw strikes, force them to try to put multiple hits together to get back into this game. And it's Kyle Crawford at the plate. Look at the season average for him last year: 207 against the White Sox. Swung on and a ground to first. And that's going to be a base hit for Crawford. He's trying for second. And that'll bring Jason Bartlett to the plate. And a chance to check out the schedule for the White Sox. Today is the last game of this Tampa Bay series. They'll be traveling tomorrow. After that, it's about defending home field. They go against the Rangers and their hitting star Michael Yip on the ground to second. And it's plucked off the field. And there's one. Over to first, he is safe. Almost a double play, not quite enough time. Uh, down to their final out right here, Gary. So, made it looking pretty dire at this point. And, you know, but listen, funnier things have happened. They've got to get base runners, though. And that breaks low, and it even ends up in the dirt. Here's Garcia with a 1 0 pitch. It's now one ball, one strike. He watched that fastball that was in there. Now that he's gotten the four seamer down and in, look for him to go outside now. Curve ball just off the black, and it's two and one. And a swing and a miss by Longoria, and the count is even. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. Mm, very close. Full three and two. Well, a lot of guys would swing at that pitch right there, that change up down in the strike zone, but the hitter luckily stayed off that one. And that one's going to miss. That'll be ball four. He'll take first base. Well, that base on ball doesn't help anything for this pitcher. Here. Now that'll put Carlos Pena at the plate. And he offers at the circle change and misses 0-1. Hitting just 121 lifetime off Freddy Garcia. Strike two, Pena. He'll look for anything close. Fans are on their feet right now. They know two strikes on the hitter. They need to keep this thing going. Line shot into center field. And that's going to be a base hit for Pena. And here comes Bartlett for the plate. And Bartlett scores. And not in time with the throw. He is safe at third. Openings for this lineup offensively. Don't give it to him now because they are hot. And here's the first one. Low for ball one. 
Well, clearly, it's safe to say the comeback underway. Now they're within a grand slam of tying this ball game up, Gary. And a fly ball could be the last out. That's going to be a wrap. Final out of the ball game. A good all-around effort, Gary, by the White Sox today allows them to get the win. They've got to be feeling pretty good about themselves. And about time to award our Pepsi Clutch performer. Yeah, I mean, this guy came out and made this team look like world beaters today. Couple of hits, and he went big fly. All in all, it adds up to a nice day's work, and they come away on top. And you don't often get the bats going on the road quite like this. Pretty good offensive attack. Well, when you're on the road, to have this kind of offense, it takes the hometown crowd out of the game and really helps your chances. Great day for baseball here at 2K Sports. Thank you for tuning in. I'm Gary Thorne with John Crux, Steve Phillips, and our great 2K Sports crew. We wish you a great rest of the day or night, wherever you may be in baseball.